spread my wings. In Georgia right now, Republicans are trying to steal this election from Stacey Abrams. She would be the first female, uh, black female, uh, governor in the United in the history of the United States of America. I think she has an excellent ch chance of winning, and they do too, because they are trying to steal the election from her. The, the man, her opponent in this race, uh, 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 a candidate Kemp, is also the uh, lieutenant uh, governor and also in charge of elections. He is deliberately taking b black voters, disproportionately black voters, off the rolls, making it harder for them to vote, like they always have. What What is amazing to me is it. There always seems to be a sleight of hand with the GOP. They can never. It should be this. If you want to vote, we should make it as easy as possible for you to vote. What we don't want is certain kind of people vote. If you look at the things that the GOP is worried about, it isn't climate change, it isn't jobs, it isn't, uh, you know, uh, uh, racism, it isn't, you know, Me Too. They're worried about immigration. They're worried about more brown people coming over and, 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 and mitigating their numbers. Just like now, every time you turn around, there's always something they're trying to do to make it harder for us to vote. Stacey Abrams, I believe, will win this race, and I believe they believe it too, or they wouldn't be trying to cheat her out of it. And they're trying to do it in front of everyone. So if you go to the polls, you, and they tell you that you're not, you're not registered to vote, you ask them for a provisional ballot, which is your, your, your right under law. If it weren't, if our vote didn't count, they wouldn't try to discount them all the time. If it didn't count... And they had better ideas than black people. You don't need to tell us to get off the plantation. Present your ideas. Let us all vote and make decisions. We don't need you making decisions for us. We don't need you trying to trick us and make it harder for us to vote. If you, if you are what you say you are, put it all on the table and let's have a fair election and see who, who, who picks what. We're not children and we need you to make decisions for us. And we're also not dumb and, and we're not going we're, we're to let you just cheat us. Look at what they're doing in Texas with the students, uh, you know, with certain students. They're trying to make it harder for them to vote in certain precincts. If you believe in your message, then open your message up. Let people have a let people make a decision based on what they hear and let the chips fall where they may. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to lie. You don't have to, you know, uh, you don't have to obfuscate. You don't have to make it harder for us to vote. You're trying to steal elections all over because you know that your message doesn't resonate. You know why your message doesn't resonate with black people? Because it's about making white people happy. That's what it is. You have to please them and pretend like you care about us. But your goal is to please them. If you believe in your message, stop trying to cheat all over the place. If you, if you believe in your message, let Stacey Abrams and Mr. Kemp have it out. If it's up to the voters to decide, stop trying to mitigate the vote. Stacey Abrams is putting her foot in your ass, and you understand it. And you're trying to cheat. And you should be ashamed of yourself. But you're not because you'll do anything for power. Stop. If you don't, if you want everybody to vote, if your message is one that will resonate with black people, if your message, uh, if you believe that all of us are Americans and all of us are created equal and there is no place for racism, stop letting this show up at the ballot box. If Stacey, Stacey Abrams win, it will be because she beat you at your own game. It is because she ran an election and you had all of the assets in place and you lost her message resonated with more people. Stop trying to cheat people out of the right that they people fought and died for. And people who don't think your vote counts, somebody's trying to make sure they don't. That's a little note from the GED section. we got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.